Welcome to my humble little office. My name is R. Keith Andrews. I'm a spiritual guide and paranormal adept. The journey continues today on March 12, 2022 at approximately 5.35 p.m. PST. Things are getting interesting for me. Quite frankly, they're getting interesting for the whole world. But like I mentioned, Okay, before I get into that, this is a live recording, so any hiccups, any stumbles, you get them. When I get done this, I simply double check the date and post it as is. But I came back to this world for one primary purpose this lifetime, and that is to pass on a very special same message to everybody in existence. Working together, we can make this a better world for virtually everybody. Now, to this end, I am not perfect by any means, and I recommend you don't just take my word for things. Do your own research. The only thing I will guarantee for what it's worth is I'm not about to lie to you to make you feel better. Unless you ask me very directly. And in over 80,000 clients, I've only had one person ever do that. Now, with that in mind, okay, like I said, I'm not perfect by any means, but every tool I offer here are the same tools I personally use and the same life and philosophies of life I live by. Now, there's only three laws I follow. Be true to yourself first. Do unto others as you desire them to do unto you. Energy out, energy in. Okay. But it's going to require all of us working together, or the majority of us anyway. As somebody pointed out, just the other day. The reality is it's very unlikely that everybody's going to work together. Okay, there are going to be people that are going after their own goals regardless of what the outcome is. But if the majority of us work together, we can turn the tide. Okay, we can make and put this society back on track. If we don't work together and society goes the way it's aiming right now, uh, well, let's just say Rome that worked out well. The Middle Ages, actually just prior to the Middle Ages, that worked out nicely. Okay. You know, the, the reality is we can make this work, but it's going to take effort. It's going to take each and every one of us, myself included, taking our negative past, acknowledging the fact it occurred, because you can't change anything about it, and the reality is, when, when you look at the past, whatever you went through, whatever situations you went through, those are what have made you who you are today. They do not make you who you are tomorrow. What you do now is what matters. To this end, okay, I finally got, like, I've got a number of things that are working nicely for me. Health is climbing, my weight is, dra is dropping, my finances are finally coming into balance. Quite frankly, I got a I got a message this morning from my credit card company, literally almost doubling, um, at least three quarters anyway, my credit limit on my card. Now that's not much, and that I'm not going to get into how much that is, but the reality of it is, it gives me a little bit of room to work with. But that only means, and this applies to you as well. You know what you've been living on. If you, you know, credit is a dangerous thing because all it is, is you're going to have to pay it back anyway. Okay. So much as they've increased my credit limit, okay, I've already got a chunk of money going in. It was funny. I was supposed to make a $200 payment roughly on my credit card because of money I'd already spent. Well, I sunk, I sunk well over $1,000 onto it to make the payment, because my intention, in spite of the increase in the credit, wipe the credit card debt out. That is, for even for you, if you've got a credit card, wipe it out. I don't mean, I don't mean cut it in half. Credit does have advantages, and it does tell me, for, for me personally, it says if I've got all this credit available, available to me and I'm not using it, this is a good thing. Okay, now, with that in mind, okay, I did go out, you know, actually I did it before I got the increase. For the first time, this is how I know finances are turning for me. Because for the first time in my life, I went out and bought a toy, basically. 
it's just a tiny laptop to replace my to replace a loose leaf binder for my gaming. Okay, I spent the better portion of the day transferring mostly a lot of the information off of paper onto the computer. I am trying to get into the 21st century. Or is it? Yeah, it's the 21st century now. I'm still having trouble with that, but that's okay. You know, if, if you think about it, because I see past, present, and future all at the same time, positive, negative, and neutral, it gets really fun, especially when you think, you know, today is, I think today is the 12th. Did I not say that? I did so. Today, I should put my glasses on if I want to do that. You know, with today being the 12th, I'm working in today's, in today's date. I'm writing horoscopes for the end of next month. And I'm writing, I'm writing a 12, a 12 volume saga over multiple years. It's no wonder I have trouble tracking time. Mind you, if you think about it, I've had trouble tracking time my entire life. Okay. I mean, I thought it was funny because I spent years with a, with a psychiatrist trying to figure out how my brain works. And the, and the psychiatrist literally told me, he says, you, you've got a, a simple problem. You have temporal disassociative disorder, which what, what he said, he says, what that basically means is it means you can't track time. I have a, like I've got to keep a real close eye on the on the clock on the computer just so that I can keep these under the under level. OK. But as he put it, I have no idea how long I sit in one place. Needless to say, sometimes I don't move and it looks like I've been there forever in a day. Or it feels like it, one of the two. Other days, I never sit still. But, where it comes to, where it comes to, and I'll get into this later, but, the Elder Bocking Chronicles, that, that I'm in the middle of writing, the 12-volume saga, is now in, it, in Italy with a publisher, looking at possibly translating it. Now, of course, this is going to cost money. I know this. Okay, it will depend on what kind of money it's going to cost me as to how quick that happens. For me, the important factor is a publisher, a professional publishing company that I was not looking to has approached me out of left field and gone, we want to do this. Now, they, it's going to cost me money, but the potential payoff for it is phenomenal. And I am going to, I'm not going to go any further into that, okay? But where it comes to the journey, okay, I am starting to get things moving in the right direction. Okay, I've got, like I said, I picked up that one little toy. This is, this is something that, that some of you will recognize. I went playing today. These are the figures that I buy. This is the way I buy them. Okay, and this whole box, I went out today to buy a bunch of them. I succeeded. But that's called, that's my pastime. You know, I mean, you think about it. I've got, yes, I drink. I drink, drink a staggering number, amount. I've got a 26er in my, in my house that now is, well, let's see, in 20, in, in, so I've got 26er Ryan in my house that I've had since, 2017 and it's about a quarter gone like i said i drink a staggering amount coffee on the other hand that's another issue but while i'm getting that done the, the thing you've got to do is look in the mirror and ask yourself what are you content with what are you happy with as far as the path your life is on so i've spent my day basically transferring information when i get done this this video i'm going to do another one right away if i don't get a phone call okay there's another couple i've actually got to do that i'm just going to get kind of get them back to back and deal with them but i'm really happy with with this issue of my life is finally starting to move in the right direction in my eyes Okay, and that's where you start. Get the energy here running. Look in the mirror. Acknowledge where you came from. Absolutely acknowledge where you came from. I mean, I've been looking at some of the things on, on Facebook because I just ignore the modern media, the mainstream media. Let's face it. The reality is 
never mind the rumors. When I've watched the the media, when what little news I've actually been privy to personally, more often than not, they get the location right and that's where it ends. Okay, so do I trust modern media? No. I mean, in all fairness, I don't trust a whole lot of people. But the reality is, when you're looking at Facebook, when you're looking at social media, yeah, some of it is 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 mock up. Some of it people make, you know, just they make happen. But the and the thing you have to look at is the majority of people, number one, can't be bothered, so they just videotape whatever they see and they put it on and they post it, or they go, oh, I'm feeling this way today, and you know, it helps some people feel better. Okay, having, you know, putting that information out and having somebody else see it so you're not just disappearing. I found my own way of, of finding, like, everybody pretty much seems to be aiming. Humans are taught to be afraid of just about everything, death included. Myself, I'm not afraid of death. I'm not interested in dying anytime soon. And the concern where it comes to death itself, for me, is not am I going to die. It's certainly I'm going to die. I just like to do it quietly in my bed. Thank you very much. Okay, not screaming in terror like man, like the pain, like that's a bad story. Anyway, from my standpoint, it's very simple. I'm I'm still aiming to see the 22nd century. Yes, I know this in a functionally healthy body, and yes, I realize that it's it's 2020 in 20, 2022 right now, right. And with that in mind, I'm looking at living another 80 years. Okay, I'm 58 right now. So I'm looking at living another 80 years in a perfectly healthy body. Am I going to pull it off? Stick with me and find out. Okay, the real catch to all of life is this. Don't go focusing on, oh, I'm going to die. I'm not going to be able to do anything right my life is over. Your life is over when you quit breathing. Dying is easy. Living is a challenge. Find a way to live. Find something to look forward to. Okay. Myself, I've got a real simple goal. Okay. And that is this. Getting all 12 of these in print. That is my short-term goal. My long-term one, I've got 32 books to get out. Okay, but I got my office all sorted out. It's working fine, except for this one little book and this one little box, right? This fine box, to heck with it. That box I just picked up, okay? I've got to get it open and put everything where it belongs on the shelves. Okay, now, the nice part about it is this. When you find something here to live for, when you find that spark, that thing that's going to hold your attention and say, this is what I desire. Okay. And you'll notice I use the term desire. The reason I use that term is because when you talk about what you want or what you need, you're, what you're doing is creating the energy of lack. You want it. You don't have it. When you, and when you talk in terms of what you desire, you're talking in terms of prosperity, of what you really are looking for, what you would like to have in your hands. And you can like to have, like, a letter opener. You can desire to have it in your hand and have it right there. There's no problem. You can choose to hold on to it. When you find something that you desire in your heart, your brain will figure out how to get it. That's what the brain is for. It's a calculator to look at all the options you've got. But it's up to you to do the work. Now, I absolutely encourage you to follow your own path, okay? Find the spiritual support. Find the family support with the people you trust, okay? There are many that will say, if you don't follow this specific denomination of, any, of some given church or coven, you're going down the wrong path. Sometimes they're right. And here's the qualifier. It's not the denomination, it's not the religion, it's the attitude. If you're being told, fear everything, you may be going down a path that's not useful, at least not for you. Okay, politely put, 
you know, the the churches have got the right idea, and the charity, you know, the major charities have got the right idea. Help those that are less fortunate than you. Okay. The idea is great. However, giving it to the church, if the church is act is actually helping the poor, helping the sick, then absolutely give them support. If they are helping you, you know, if they are providing you something that is of value, there are bills to pay. And I'm not getting into tax laws. But when we start looking at the at the people that are down and out, the people that have less than you do, look at what you require to survive. Now, I require a three-bedroom house, a uh, three-bedroom apartment to accommodate my lifestyle, okay, which means for me, I can pull it off on 2500 a month, okay. For me, that works. And the reason I require three-bedroom is because I've got, a, I've got a munchkin living with me, there's me, and I've got my office. So even when I do bring my partner, you know, bring my partner to live with me, I don't have to move to get into a, into a big enough house to work with. Okay, it will be big enough. And that works out beautifully. Okay, so this is my lifestyle. And like I said, the tools I offer are the ones that work for me, and I'm absolutely certain as I've given them to multiple other people, like literally hundreds of people, and in many cases, thousands of people. Okay, these tools do work, but it requires getting the energy moving in the right direction. So, you start here, get the energy in your primary, in your, in your office, wherever you handle finances. Because finances are the backbone of uh, of your house, not of the home. But you got to remember, money is only a is simply a barter system. Granted, it's a globally recognized one. I'm still trying to figure out how you know how one company's dollar can be can be worth more than another's. But that's a financial thing. I just look at it and go, okay, that's the way it is. That's what I deal with. Take a look at, at your world. Are you are you content? Are you overextending yourself? Which is what I used to do extremely well. There, there was a time when if I had an extra dollar in my hand, it would be gone like that. Okay. I just got handed a chunk of money. Well, not a chunk of money. I got handed a chunk of credit, which, let's be real. If you use a credit card, if you use a line of credit, you still have to pay it back. And if you're one of these people that fell into the loop of getting money from from one of these payday loan companies, okay, check your interest rates. I was appalled when I looked at one and found out I'd fallen victim to it. Okay, I looked at it and went, oh, I can do this. It's not that bad. Do your numbers because one that I got caught in was charging, I think, something like 40% 40, 40 interest. Now. They, you know, delay what you have to buy in order to put the money aside for it. Go and paying 40% more for the convenience of having it is not wise. Point in fact, my washer died a few years back. I went for almost two years using a laundromat because I couldn't see the point in paying that kind of price to get it. So I waited until I could afford it. And this, again, when, when I talk about, about making things work, talk to the people around you. Talk to the people that you know and get to know the ones you don't. I like the way it was put one day. You know, a stranger is simply a friend you've never met. And many times that's the case. Lord knows that's how it's been with the gamers I end up running with. But get a goal in mind, okay? And then start and take a look at where your life is and ask yourself one question. Am I content with everything in my life? Am I absolutely content with it? If the answer is yes, then you're in better shape than anybody I've ever met, so I'd love to hear about it. As a matter of fact, any comments you have, I would love to see in the comments below. I do my best to go through them. 
okay, and respond to them as best I can. The reality is my life gets a little hacky, so sometimes I'm a little delayed, but I will do my best. Okay, if you desire to ask a question or you desire to tell me something that is that you'd like to keep to yourself, you know, you don't desire the rest of the world to see, drop me a line in one of the private contact points below this video. Many of the many of the topics I talk about, okay, I am putting in print. And if you look below this video, you'll find a whole section of, of books that I've already got in print that can be ordered directly through me. Okay, but you know when my when when my brother passed just last week, he left me with with a real definitive message. And it wasn't something he said. It was an attitude he came out of the hospital with just before dying. Today is the day you've got. It's the only one you've got. Okay, and if you don't act on doing things for you today, for your loved ones today, you may not get that option. I didn't take the time to spend more time with my, with my eldest brother. Okay, I no longer have that option. And, you know, it's like I told my little brother today. And yeah, I made that mistake with my older brother and my two parents. Okay, they're all gone. But I've still got one older brother that I had a falling out with years ago. And we patched it together, sort of. But like I told my little brother, I am going to be reaching out and making a definitive effort to get to talk to him a little more often. Will I likely go and see him? Not likely. But then I don't like traveling and he's in another city. That doesn't mean I can't talk to him. All it means is I won't be traveling a whole lot. But again, remember that thing about be true to yourself first? That means take a look at your own boundaries and ensure that you're following what works for you. As long as you do that, you'll be fine. Okay, that's just absolutely the best road to go. Take your job, and like I said, the, the trick that has worked for me to get things done is to take a sheet of paper and just write down three things to start with that require doing, okay, that you're not content with. Break them down into tasks that are only 15 minutes to half an hour in length and start eliminating them. Because the reality is, once you have wiped out all the negative things in your life, all the things you're not content with, all you're left with is what you're happy with. And I will tell you, from my standpoint, when I drop when I drop below that 210 mark, which reminds me, tomorrow I've got to check my weight again. Okay. When I drop below that 210 mark, it felt so much better. And the ecstatic reaction I got from my brother when I found out that he had that he had shattered the weight drop that he was planning on just completely decimated it. I call it decimated. I know from his reaction it was. From your reaction, probably not that much. He only broke the weight and the weight he was aiming at by six pounds. Not 30 pounds, not 40 pounds, by six. Okay. And for him, that was like a lease on life. Too bad it came so late and they cashed in on the rest of it. But that ecstatic feeling, he left me with a very definitive understanding. Now is the time to live. You're alive now. You may not be feeling great. Maybe, you're, maybe your body is aches and pains. Maybe you don't have a lot of energy. Now, I will warn you about one thing I found. If your sugar levels, never mind if you're diabetic, ignore the diabetic thing for a minute. If your sugar levels are too high, your energy is likely to tank. Okay, so it's something that you do have to take a look at. Okay, it's something I watch. I watch my sugar levels. I don't have a monitor. I was told I was diabetic. I don't really care. Okay, frankly, I was told a lot of things. I was told when I was five, I was dead. That didn't that didn't sink in all that well, so I left the mark. But if, you're, if your energy is lax, your stress level may be too high, clear out the energy you're, that you is in your house. Clear out the clutter. Change your wardrobe. What I mean by changing your wardrobe, instead of just getting dressed in, in you know, so-called, you know, grubbies, get dressed as though you were walking out of the house. 
Unless, of course, you're planning on doing something like, for instance, washing your floors. Getting into a ballroom gown or into a, into a suit is a really bad idea. Even getting into good jeans, when you're going to be down on your hands and knees, scrubbing the floor. Yes, I still do it that way. I did finally buy a mop, not that I'm likely to use it much, but I'm still a firm believer that hands-on works better. Okay, the one drawback there is I don't like cooking still. Although, from what I gather, things are about to change on that, at least up here in Canada. It sounds like going out is becoming a possibility again. Which is not necessarily a good thing for me. You know, I was spending three to four hundred bucks a month on on restaurants. I don't like cooking. However, I have come to the realization that I can save a staggering amount of money for my retirement if I cook. I'm not good at it. <laughs> Just don't kid yourself on that. Okay, this is why you have to take a look at what you're aiming for. Now you've got two boss men, two options where it comes to your spending. Either cut back on your spending or increase your cash flow. Okay, for me, it's a question of increasing cash flow. And this is why I'm doing the right. That actually is not true. I'm writing the books because I feel they have to be written. If I end up getting, if I end up breaking even on them, I'm content. If, as potential has it, I end up making a living with it, I'm going to be a whole lot happier about it. Okay. Now, the, the reality behind life is this. You're the only one in existence that has the capacity to be successful for you. You're going to have to do the work. Okay, get all the support you can from everybody you can. Support being encouragement. Okay. And one of the things that I find helps really well with helping me feel better is if I see somebody having trouble, and I've got a couple of dollars, I will, you know, I don't very often give people change because I don't carry it anymore. But I have found that if you're if somebody's begging for, you know, is asking for help, okay, food works very well. Now, granted, they may have food, okay, but the thing is, if you don't have to worry about your finding your food, you can take care of the other problem. But, you know, there's a lot that goes with that. But in any event, I will be back tomorrow. Tonight, I'm going to sit down and get an itinerary together to make sure I've got some definitive topics to sort out. It's been a loopy couple of weeks. Anyway, I will be back again tomorrow. And until then, take care of yourselves and each other. And for pity's sakes, stay positive.